No! Woo! <laughs> Robot vacuums used to be a novelty, but not anymore. It seems like every tech manufacturer is making their own version of a robot floor cleaner, and the devices themselves range from simple vacuum-only bots to multi-purpose and self-cleaning marvels. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and I've probably reviewed about 30 vacuums in my time as a tech writer. And the latest to cross my desk is the Shark AI Self-Empty XL Robot Vacuum. In this review, I'll take a look at how well it cleans, what you get and what you don't with this device. I'll dig into the technology and the special features, and I'll tell you if I can recommend it for you and your smart home. And really heads up, if you do end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please mash that like button and hit me with a sub. Both those things do help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. So what do you get with this device? This is a vacuum only robot with a self emptying base and charging station. The key differentiator of this base station seems to be that it's bagless. While pretty much every other robot vacuum with a base station that I've reviewed in the last few years uses a sealed vacuum bag to trap dirt and dust, making disposal clean and easy, Shark has chosen to go bagless. While some may feel this is unsanitary, going bagless has a couple of advantages according to Shark. You don't need to shell out extra cash for brand specific bags and you don't have to worry about running out of them. Let's take a look at what's in the box. It's pretty straightforward. You get the robot vacuum, the self emptying base and charging station, and two corner brushes, which you'll just need to click into place. To get your bot set up, plug in the base station and get your robot charging. And meantime, download or log into the Shark Clean app. The app is gonna be your central control panel for everything you wanna do with your robot. Once you have your account established and the bot is thoroughly charged, the app will prompt you to send it out on an exploratory mapping run of your home. The Shark AI Self Empty XL Robot Vacuum will use the technology inside here, including lasers, to draw a detailed map of your home's floor plan. Now, worth pointing out, this bot can only handle one floor plan or one story at a time. With your floor plan drawn, it'll be time to label the rooms and set up some cleaning zones, and you can designate high traffic areas by the door or the busy kitchen work triangle areas, which might need that extra attention. Creating and labeling the map was easy and took just a few minutes, and after just the one mapping pass in my home, it had a map that was complete and extremely accurate. I was very impressed. The other advantage to having the home mapping is that you can schedule individual rooms to be cleaned at specific times each week, and you can also enable voice control in this bot for hands-free use of your robot vacuum. Setting a schedule is quite easy, and the app makes it simple to choose a time when you'd like your home cleaned and which days you want it to do so. Now let's talk voice control. If you're just looking inside the Shark app, it's not immediately obvious that you even have voice control at all, nor does the Shark website spell it out either, by the way. The way I discovered I had voice control is when I opened my Google Home app one day and I saw a prompt to connect the Shark Clean setup to Google Home. With just a couple taps and then logging into my Shark account to link them, I was able to ask Google to send my Shark robot here out to clean. If for some reason you don't get this prompt, you can go into the Google Home app, then choose to add a device. You'll want to search for Shark by brand and then follow the instructions. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Literally. How well does the Shark AI here clean? I put all my robot vacuums through the same tests. I get them to sweep up finer things like flour or sugar, middle-sized bits like rice or oatmeal, and bigger cracker pieces on both carpet and hard floors. I was actually impressed at how well the Shark picked up all my debris challenges, and what it might miss in one pass, it was usually able to get on the next. It cleans in straight, deliberate patterns and actually seems really effective. If you want to do spot cleaning, you can use the app to zero in on an area, then the bot will go right there when you hit clean. If this seems a bit imprecise, I did find it more effective to create zones where I typically want a bit more of a regular sweep. The Shark Clean app will helpfully estimate the time it's going to take for it to clean your spaces. As one example, I asked it to clean my hallway and my primary bath, and it gave me an estimation of about 35 minutes, and it did it in, I'd say, just under that time. Ditto for another clean I tried, it estimated about 30 minutes and did it in about 27. The robot will keep cleaning your house until its onboard dustbin is full. Then it will head back to home base to empty itself and then resume cleaning where it left off. 
Looking at the dustbin, it seems fairly large and Shark says it should hold up to about 60 days worth of dirt. My testing was merely two weeks and I can say I still had lots of room inside it when I emptied it. Shark tells me the base station filters and the dustbin can be cleaned with cold water only and the filter inside the robot is not washable by the way. When it comes to the noise level, let's get this out of the way. For the most part, robot vacuums make noise, so I can say the Shark AI is average when it comes to noise level. This bot, though, does have three levels of suction, so it is possible to dial in a quieter clean if you need to. Finally, let's touch on battery life. Because this machine has adjustable levels of suction, this does affect the battery life. If you use it in its lowest suction mode, or Eco, Shark says you can get up to about 200 minutes of use from a single charge. On full power or max mode, that use drops to more like 90 minutes. The bot does take about four hours to recharge fully, which is a lot, but you can enable the clean and resume feature where the bot will clean until it needs more juice, then return to recharge, then go back out and complete the job when it's ready. Overall, this is a pretty capable bot. It's an uncomplicated vacuum, yet it has mapping smarts and AI, which creates a virtual floor plan map of your home nearly instantly. It cleans surprisingly well on both carpets, rugs, and hard floors. It's also easy to schedule and to organize cleanings for specific rooms or high traffic areas thanks to that AI mapping. I actually didn't mind the bagless dustbin either since it means no shelling out extra dollars for proprietary bags and it does hold quite a bit of dirt and dust. So what are the downsides of this bot? Well, for some folks, they might actually want that sealed bag for dirt and this bot does only handle one floor plan when it comes to the mapping. Overall though, I can definitely recommend the Shark AI self-empty XL robot vacuum for you and for your smart home. It sells for about 649 US dollars, but I have not seen Canadian pricing or availability just yet. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, you can head over to spy.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about this bot. You can also post them here in comments below. If you're also looking to see what the latest reviews I'm doing are, you can watch for stuff here on the YouTube channel, of course. Also, check out techgadgetscanada.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.